We've all heard that morning and evening routines are a great way to be productive and stay on task. But what makes a great routine and how do you stick with it? I'm Dara. I help people live a more minimalist lifestyle so they can focus on what matters most without getting overwhelmed along the way. If you're looking for a simpler life, keep tuning in to videos like this one. I'm a little bit new to YouTube. And in looking at different YouTube videos, I found some trends. And one of those trends were YouTubers filming in incredible detail their morning routine and their evening routine. And their morning routine always started at like four or five o'clock in the morning, maybe six. And the evening routines always started fairly early too. And they were meticulous. But I never felt like I learned anything from them. I mean, they were interesting, they were really well filmed, um, but there weren't a lot of lessons that I could um, take out from them. So I wanted to make a morning and evening routine video from you that's a lot of lessons and a lot less watching me brush my teeth. And maybe in a future video, I'll actually show you my true morning and evening routine. So you'll have to stay tuned for that one. Let's talk about one, how routines help create a minimalist lifestyle. Two, what constitutes a routine? Three, how do you keep a routine? It's probably not a big shocker that routines would be part of having a simpler life because they are something that you're doing on a regular basis. And so you are able to really focus. Minimalism is about focus. Some benefits that a routine can have to your minimalist lifestyle involve grounding and anchoring. So this is a way of grounding yourself into your own body, grounding yourself into your space, grounding yourself even just into the flow of your lifestyle. Sometimes we need something to anchor us and make us feel comfortable and routines are very comforting. Now we tend to have routines that are a little bit more self-destructive um, that are comforting, but we also can have routines that are very positive for our lives. So there's a level of comfort there that comes when, with that grounding, with that anchoring into something that is very, very familiar. And then you kind of start off and end your day with something that has comfort. Routines promote focus. As I've mentioned and will continue to mention, minimalism is about focus. So a routine can easily be used as a way of focusing on some very basic things in your life that you want to get done on a regular basis. And it's easy to focus on them and continue with them because you've integrated them so well into your lifestyle. And then because you've taken care of them in this focused routine, you're then able to focus on everything else. Because if you get something done in the morning, it's out of the way, you're not thinking about it anymore, your mind is completely clear for everything else. But if you forget to brush your teeth in the morning, but you know you have to brush your teeth, and every 20 minutes you're thinking about, oh, I really should get up and brush my teeth, how much are you really focused on the specific task that you're trying to work on next? Now, depending on the routine, it may benefit your minimalist lifestyle if it relates to continuous care. So putting items away that you've already designated a home for and keeping up with your financial activities, these are all things that are part of your minimalist lifestyle and to maintain them, to have this sort of continuous care attitude about your home and life, a routine can really keep you on top of things. Well, what actually constitutes a routine? The dictionary definition is a sequence of actions regularly followed or a fixed program. Typically, we think of routines as something that has to be done every single day, but keep in mind they can be once a week, they could be weekdays or weekends. As long as it's done on a regular basis, it's okay if you're not doing it every day. And routines are really the basis for creating good habits. So if there's a habit that you want to adopt, making it a part of your routine will be really helpful. So how do you keep a routine? This is what people struggle with the most. In order to build a routine, think about what things you actually want to have done regularly and what the frequency is. And a really important cornerstone of creating a routine is to build on routines that you already have. 
So most people are pretty good at brushing their teeth every single morning. Um, maybe they're good at flossing, maybe they're good at washing their face, these very basic things. So you want to build upon something you already have in your system and start slow. Maybe you're great at brushing your teeth, but now you put um, a piece of your routine in where you also make your bed, just as a quick example. Maybe you don't like making your bed, so you find a way of making that more enjoyable by putting on a podcast you really like, listening to some music that you really like, or making sure that you make the bed first before you brush your teeth. Because you know you're gonna brush your teeth, you're not gonna forget about that, you love the minty fresh feeling you get in your mouth. So if you slide in um, an item into the routine that maybe you don't like as much, but you couple that with something you're really good at keeping, you're gonna be all set. Routines become oppressive if you force yourself to do them all of the time. So maybe you've created a more complex routine than needed. Maybe you are really unforgiving with yourself if you miss a day. Maybe you aren't clear with yourself about how often to do the routine. And also a lot of times people start to fall out of a routine midweek and then they're sort of like, oh, just I'll forget, I'll start again fresh on Monday. That sort of attitude is where I believe where people get into the most difficulty. It's very similar to like closer to the end of the year where people are like, ah, I'll start eating healthy in January, but it's only November. There's no reason why you can't have a day out or a couple of days out where you're eating fun foods or a couple days where you don't brush your teeth or make your bed and that not impact the following day. So every day is a new day. And that's why I like routines because they make it easier each day, but they aren't something that you necessarily have to do every single day or else you're a bad person or you've failed all of your goals. The point of these routines are to set you up for focus on the things you really care about. I try to make my bed every day, but that's not my goal in life. <laughs> Like if I don't make it every day, it's okay. But if I don't make it two days in a row, that shouldn't decide whether or not I make it the third day, right? These are independent activities and they're not the most important thing in your life. I also think it's important to take pieces of your routine with you if you go away, if you're on vacation, if you're on a business trip, you might not be able to hold everything in the routine, but let's say you do 20 minutes of stretches as part of your routine at home. When you go on vacation, you probably can incorporate some of those stretches in the morning. Maybe you skip a day or two, maybe you don't do it for as long, but I do think that using vacations or time away from your home or an unusual schedule at home to say, ah, forget about the routine, kind of diminishes its importance. And the whole idea is not to have a huge routine, it's to have a small focused one that really highlights the things that will most benefit you. There are so many strategies that can help you build and maintain a minimalist lifestyle. Routines are excellent building blocks and they're excellent ways of having this continuous care for your lifestyle and your home. They help you build it and they help you maintain it. So I love routines, but I'm not married to them. And I'm always happy to change them up, switch them up and let them flow with the different needs that I have in my life at different times. For more information about minimalism and how to make your life easier, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when a new video releases. And please comment below with any video ideas you have. I'd love to answer all of your questions.